Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Sue's Light World. I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you want to hit that like button or leave a comment or subscribe, that'd be fantastic just to get other people aware of my channel. It'd be really great. I have so many different things on my mind today, and they're all good, and it's a good day. One of the things on my mind, and has been for some, some time, years, but lately more, is, is water. And we are almost all water, basically, you know, at least three quarters is water and there are many people who study water and how water forms and crystallizes in relationship to other input music words songs energy vibration basically um, when when water is exposed to a particular vibration, it crystallizes in different fashions, and when you consider that our bodies are almost all water, it's really quite monumental to consider how, how we are crystallizing when exposed to certain, certain things. Um, Seems, it seems really rudimentary and simple, but oftentimes we forget and we let the outside stimuli that's coming into our world run amok and we don't, we're not particular about what we let in. And, and when you consider, you know, letting another human into your circle or tons of humans into your circle, I mean, that's a lot of information for for the water to assimilate. I guess what I'm saying is that it's really quite wonderful to take time to, for yourself and create an environment where you can experience solitude and have full, I don't want to use the word control, but I guess jurisdiction might be a better word, full jurisdiction on what your energy field is exposed to and how how you're crystallizing. Maybe take a little bit of time each day and maybe even just say a word, you know, or 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 take a piece of paper and write the word love or the word peace or compassion on it and then put it in your pocket or tape it onto you because it will affect your frequency and vibration. Um, I know that there are people recording music with um, 432 hertz, which is fantastic. I mean, probably most of the music that I listen to is 444 hertz, which it's not optimal, but that's another that's another project we we don't we can't control all of our environments outside of ourselves all the time but when we can I want to encourage you to give yourself beautiful nourishment feed yourself good words and good sounds and allow your your body of water to crystallize to high input when you think of a, a crystal or a stone that you put on your body that your body really does respond to that and it raises its frequency to match the frequency of the stone and or the oil you know essential oil that you put on your body it really 
does affect your frequency and vibration. Breathing affects your frequency and vibration. When you inhale, you are inhaling spirit, inspiration. I guess it's just a couple of ideas on how to raise your frequency and vibration and how to lift yourself up out of, out of fear and anxiety and all of the things that are outside of you and we really truly can't control what's, what's being broadcast to us but we can counteract it by raising our frequency and our vibration to, to sort of one up the lower frequency and vibration that is being broadcast to each and every one of us on the planet. The lower vibrations of fear and hate and separation and you know, all those things that keep us feeling not so not so great. Every day is a new, a new day. Every, every moment is a new moment. You know, we always have the chance and the opportunity to, to birth new energy onto the planet, to birth high frequency energy and vibration. So, yeah, it's, it's, we are, we have so much in our in our hands so much power so much you know we are just so much more powerful than a lot of us know and my uh, my favorite thing to talk about is meditation and how it has affected my existence and changed changed everything and really given me a new lease on life. It's a very simple practice that I that I practice. Um, it's only 20 minutes. I do it first thing in the morning when I wake up and I sit with my spine straight and close my eyes and breathe and that's about it. <laughs> and I do it for 20 minutes and I use a timer and I use Insight Timer. It's fantastic. It's an app that you can get. Um, and just that just that intention and that that commitment and that action it will raise your frequency so fast within a couple of weeks you'll start to you within I mean every time that you do it like if you just do it for one day it's going to affect you but to really cement it in and really get it you know well established in your system daily without breaks is optimal because it just it just builds on itself. Meditation is... It's really... It just makes you super aware of everything, of your thoughts. Of You know, what it's done for me is it's, it's shown me the lower frequency vi thoughts and vibrations that have been with me for how for a countless... I don't even know, lifetimes probably, but... You know, this lifetime, I feel, has been super monumental in making the, becoming aware of the things that are holding me back and then making adjustments. And this guy, there's no limit really, but I wanted to say the sky is a limit, which is limiting. So there's no limit on what you can do in one incarnation. So that's about it. I'm enjoying enjoying this this springtime. It's it's lovely. It's still cold, but everything's just starting to come alive and be reborn, resurrected. We always have the chance and the opportunity to be reborn, to start again.
Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you love.